Hello guys, it's Lord and Yer. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about electricity. So whether you're a noob, a pro, or in between, you're going to learn something either way. Alright, so let's get into it. Over here, the first thing is sentries. Sentries can be used to defend your base. They require a gun to be placed inside of them. All sentries use the same crafting recipe, which is a spotlight, a metal rifle rack, a rangefinder, a blowtorch, and crafting three. This is the hostile sentry, this is the friendly sentry, and this is the neutral sentry. The hostile sentry attacks everything besides teammates and cuffed players. The friendly sentry attacks people who have building items equipped or guns or weapons equipped. And the neutral sentry attacks people who don't have their hands up, plus zombies who are hostile. The next thing we have is lighting. We have the lamp over here, the cage lamp over here, and the spotlight over here. To craft a lamp, you require one cage light and two metal bars. A spotlight requires two wires, five metal bars, and a blowtorch. And the cage light requires three wires, four metal bars, and a blowtorch. The spotlight and cage lights can be found in construction areas. Spotlights project the light more in a specific direction, whereas cage lights light up a whole area. And lamps are more for roleplay, as you need a cage light to craft a lamp. Next, we have the oven and the clock. The oven is crafted with a campfire, three metal sheets, a blowtorch, and crafting three. The clock is crafted with weak glass, two metal scrap, a blowtorch, and crafting three. Once powered, the oven will provide heat, and the clock will tell you the time. Next, we have the generators. The first generator we'll speak about is the oxygenator. The oxygenator is crafted with five metal sheets, five metal bars, a diving tank, a blowtorch, and crafting two. The oxygenator provides oxygen to nearby areas. It's mainly used in underwater bases and sky bases, and it can be placed on vehicles to search the sky. The safe zone generator is crafted with six metal sheets, six metal bars, a vaccine, a blowtorch, and it stops zombie, vehicle, item, and animal spawns. As some of you may have noticed, all of the things in here have not done anything. This is because they are not powered. We can power them with either the portable generator or the industrial generator. The portable generator is crafted with four metal sheets, four metal bars, a portable gas can, and a blowtorch. The industrial generator is crafted with seven portable generators and a blowtorch. The portable generator has 2000 fuel, meaning it can run for 666 minutes or 11 hours, 6 minutes, and 40 seconds. The industrial generator has 10 times that fuel capacity and can carry 20,000 fuel. It runs for 1,666 minutes, which is 27 hours, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds. Instead of having to refuel a portable generator quite often, you can just have an industrial generator and he'll run for 27 hours, meaning that it's a lower maintenance. It also has a larger radius, so you can power much more of your base instead of having a few different generators. The industrial generator also stores twice as much as the fuel tank. As you can see, our generators are not working. To fix that, we'll either need an industrial gas can or a portable gas can. Portable gas cans can be found in gas stations, and industrial generators are crafted with five portable gas cans, a blowtorch, and crafting two. The portable generator has 500 fuel capacity and the industrial has 2500. So as you can see, we filled up our generator. We are gaining heat from the oven. Once I turned off, we're not gaining heat. You can see the clock also works, so you can see it's slowly turning there. The oxygenator is providing oxygen. Safe zone radiator won't work because there aren't any zombie spawns on this island. You can see how lights work, so you can see that if we turn this off, we're not going to have light in this area, but we're going to have light ahead. If we turn this off and this on, we're going to have light in this area, but not light ahead. And our sentries just need a gun and they'll be ready to fire. I'm taking the jeep out back and I'll show you what we have over here. We spoke about the fuel tank earlier, crafted with four metal sheets, three metal cans, two tape, chemicals, a blowtorch, and crafting two. It stores 10,000 fuel and it's only useful when placed on vehicles. This is probably one of the coolest items over here. It is crafted with three metal bars, two chemicals, 
two portable gas cans, a blowtorch and crafting three. Once it's full, it has a 2500 fuel capacity, meaning that an industrial generator can take all of the fuel out of it in one go. One of these takes 81 minutes to fully drill enough gas to fill itself. You may be wondering why this is useful. It is useful because you don't have to go to a gas station. It's much safer and you can just get the fuel from your pump jack and fill it straight into your generator or into your vehicle. And it may also have a few other uses. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something and if you're curious, check out some of my other videos. Have a good day and bye!